Hello to all the learners deck viewers out there and in today's lecture we'll discuss different options related to sorting and filtering and we'll look into details what is the difference between filtering and sorting within Microsoft Excel. So I have pulled in some dummy data here and let me explain this data to you. The first column has employee ID, the second column has first name which is followed by the last name then I have written down department here followed by designation and region so these are simple tabular data that I have listed down here now let me explain first what is the difference between sorting and filtering so within sorting you will always see the complete set of data on your screen sorting will only either prioritize your data or make it look in different order so you can change the order of your data you can make it ascending descending smaller to larger or larger to smaller depending on your specific requirement but complete data will always be visible now if you'll talk about filtering within filtering the benefit is that you'll only see data which you require and other data which is not required at the moment will be filtered out but it will always remain there within the file but for the current visible portion only the specific data based on your filtered context or your filtered specific fields will only appear on your screen so there are actually two ways within microsoft excel from where you can fetch these two different functions the very first option will be within home ribbon you can see here that the sort and filter option is available here. When you'll click on this drop down menu, you'll see that the first two options are for quick sort. Please keep in mind that quick sort can only be done on one column. And if you would like to sort your table or your data based on multiple values or multiple columns, you need to use the custom sort option, which is listed here on the number three. In the second pane, you'll have features related to filters. Now, if you would like to use detailed features, you need to go to the data ribbon and you'll find a complete group of sort and filter here. The first two options are for quick sort, which are only applicable for one column or one row based on one field. But for custom sort, you need to select this particular option. Now you can see this funnel which is listed right in between your screen. This is indicating that it is for filtering your data. You can filter your data based on different values or you can always filter your data based on cell color as well. We'll explain this in upcoming lectures. If you would like to see advanced features for filtering, you can click here and advanced features will appear. You can see that these two options are currently uh, not visible or they are disabled actually because we have not applied any filter and once you'll apply any filter you'll have the options to clear the filter or reapply in case required so these this is the major difference between sorting and filtering and i have shown you the ribbons from where you can select and use these options Please make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is Learner Deck, because in our upcoming videos, we'll explain in detail how you can use these features within Excel and benefit from these features. So make sure that you watch our videos and like as well. Please do recommend us and provide your comments. And thanks for watching this video.